Musk laughed loudly. What makes China unable to stop copying SpaceX rockets? Welcome to the Elon Musk Signal Channel. China is heavily investing in its space program with the goal of becoming the leading space power in the world in the future. They are rapidly advancing cutting-edge technologies, building modern space infrastructure, and embarking on ambitious space exploration missions, even aiming to surpass the United States in the future. But can they succeed? How will China's rise impact the current space order? Let's follow this video. In 2021, a Chinese space company surprised the world with its design of a somewhat familiar space tourism rocket. But the story doesn't end there. China doesn't want to be merely a flashy imitation of SpaceX's Dragon Falcon and Starship. For years, the copycat strategy has been rigorously implemented by the Beijing government, especially with SpaceX's products led by Elon Musk. This strategy seems to be yielding certain effectiveness. SpaceX's idea of space tourism has inspired this nation. In May 2024, China's Long March 2D rocket successfully launched the Beijing 3C satellite group into orbit. Notably, this rocket is equipped with a grid fins landing control system, resembling those on SpaceX's Starship. Prior to that, in August 2021, CAS Space, a commercial company under the Chinese Academy of Sciences, also unveiled a new rocket project. Experts believe this is a direct competitor to SpaceX's Starship. The question is whether China can succeed with a long-term imitation strategy. Creativity and innovation are key factors for sustainable development in high technology. While imitation may shorten research time, it could hamper the potential development of China's domestic technology. Not stopping at copying rocket designs, China has also drawn attention with the 6th Zambian Quacha project by CAS Space. This is a reusable single-stage rocket, being developed with the aim of launching commercial satellites and short-term space tourism. According to press releases, 6 Zambian Quacha can carry up to 7 passengers to an altitude of 100 kilometers, surpassing the Kármán line, the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space. The rocket is 15m tall, with a diameter of 3.35m, and has 4 windows. The design of 6 Zambian Quacha bears many similarities to SpaceX's Dragon capsule, but in a more humorous way. Additionally, 6 Zambian Quacha uses 5 liquid oxygen kerosene engines similar to SpaceX's Falcon 9, along with grid fins at the rocket's head. However, instead of using landing legs, 6 Zambian Quacha will be held by a special structure upon returning to Earth, similar to SpaceX's Mechazilla concept with the giant Starship rocket. Meanwhile, the passenger compartment will detach and land using parachutes. Despite borrowing heavily from SpaceX, 6 Zambian Quacha still represents a significant step forward for China's space industry. Whether CAS Space can improve the design and successfully launch 6 Zambian Quacha remains to be seen. The answer will depend on their efforts in technology development in the future. Experts believe that while imitation may be a starting point, for long-term success, China needs to focus on researching and developing its own unique rocket technology. Contrary to the expectations of many regarding Elon Musk's attitude, he doesn't seem overly concerned about China copying SpaceX's technology, even though the company's intellectual property has been blatantly stolen. This seems to have been anticipated by him. Musk has stated that fundamentally we don't have any patents at SpaceX. He asserts, we don't really patent anything that's core to SpaceX. Our primary long-term competitor is China. If we published patents, it would be like providing them with a roadmap. Instead of patents, SpaceX prioritizes trade secrets for key technologies. However, this doesn't mean they don't use patents at all. Currently, SpaceX holds a total of 143 patents globally, with 51 granted. Notably, over 83% of these are still in force. So, if not focusing on core technology, what innovations is SpaceX protecting with patents? The answer lies in the Starlink project. Charts show that the majority of SpaceX's patents relate to this project, including antennas, transceiver units, and digital signal transmission techniques. These are all essential technologies for operating the Starlink satellite internet network. Compared to patents, trade secrets may provide stronger protection. Some experts argue that SpaceX's strategy is a defense through offense approach. By continuously innovating technology, they maintain a lead over competitors even when some secrets are leaked. 
Elon Musk's choice of trade secrets over patents for SpaceX's core technologies is justified. According to the 1996 Economic Espionage Act of the U.S., disclosing trade secrets can result in criminal prosecution and heavy financial penalties. When properly enforced, trade secrets are the ultimate weapon to protect intellectual property. This is why the field that China most learns from SpaceX is rocketry, not satellites. Trade secrets conceal production processes, specialized materials, and secrets that help SpaceX rockets achieve high performance. China may replicate the outer design, but replicating the full strength of SpaceX's rockets is a major challenge. However, even clever imitation is only a short-term tactic. China may catch up in design, but may not keep up with the pace of innovation and the crazy production speed of SpaceX. While competitors struggle to copy, SpaceX continuously improves technology, maintaining a leading position. SpaceX's success relies not only on rocket technology but also on the ecosystem of reusable rockets, autonomous landing, and efficient supply chains. Partially copying SpaceX's technology will not be enough for China to compete effectively. Additionally, branding is also an important factor. SpaceX has built a reputable brand in the space rocket field, attracting collaboration from many international clients. This is a difficult advantage to replicate in a short time. Moreover, research and development R&D, costs are also crucial. To catch up with SpaceX, China needs strong investment in R&D, rather than just focusing on copying. Even with detailed blueprints of Starship, China or Russia's copying journey still faces many obstacles. First, Starship is still in development. The current design is continuously evolving, requiring competitors to grasp the entire decision-making process regarding materials, dimensions, and complex technical calculations. Second, supporting infrastructure is also a major challenge. Integrated towers and orbital launch pads, two key elements for operating Starship, are also complex projects, requiring separate research and development investment. In summary, to break SpaceX's monopoly, China needs more than just copying. The strategy of sitting quietly and copying everything from the US is outdated. This is a dual-track race. The US is also increasing investment in basic research, collaborating with powerful private companies like SpaceX to realize breakthrough ideas. The goal of the US is to not let China surpass. In addition to commendable efforts, China's ambition for space dominance also faces many challenges. One prominent issue is political scandals related to billion-dollar space contracts executed by Boeing and ULA. These scandals have increased doubts about the transparency of national space projects, questioning China's ability to manage and effectively utilize resources. Can they build international trust in their space program? Can they ensure transparency and accountability in using public resources? China's ambition for space dominance is a bold and promising goal. The space technology race is not just a battle between nations. Scientists worldwide, whether from the US, China, or any other country, share a passion for exploring space. International cooperation and knowledge sharing will accelerate space science progress, bringing humanity closer to distant planets. China is making relentless efforts to catch up with and surpass the US, becoming the world's leading space power in the future. However, they still have many challenges to overcome. Can China succeed in this ambition? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with interesting information. Goodbye and see you in the next video.